everybody, I am back. I am sorry for the delay in videos. It's been maybe a month or two, probably two months since I last uploaded a video and I apologize. I've never had a gap like this before, um, but there's just been a lot going on. A lot of things and I'm ready to come back and I'm ready to up start uploading some videos. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to start off with an empties video because I have been collecting these even though I wasn't making videos. I knew at some point I'd be starting to make these videos again. So I still collected things and I have a lot of stuff right now. So I thought I would start with this video. And yeah, I'm just gonna jump right into it. The first two things on the top are the self tanners I have been using this summer. I've really been loving this brand. It is Victoria's Secret Self Tan. I've gone through two of them so far, almost done a third. They last quite a while, I wanna say. Um, they're the 360 kind of air spray type cans and I've been using it about once a week. I'm about ready to self tan again, but um, just a really nice color. Goes on really easily. I use these, um, let me grab it for you, these mitts, St. Tropez mitts to just rub it in all over my body. It goes on really easily, it doesn't streak, it's not orange. And what I love about it is when it comes off, it comes off pretty naturally. It doesn't leave any patching or like, weird looking skin. So I love it and it's cheap, so I would recommend it. I'm gonna get this big guy out of the way. Crest 3D Luxe White Arctic Fresh Mouthwash. I really like this one. This one's my favorite. Of all the mouthwashes I've tried, actually I'm totally out right now, so I need to go buy some more. So that is the one I'm gonna pick up. I went through a Batiste Dry Shampoo XXL Volume. This one's my favorite from the Batiste line. And I love Batiste. It smells good, it doesn't make your hair feel funky, it actually does clean your hair. And it's pretty inexpensive, so I definitely recommend it. What's next? I finished a Pond's Luminous Finish BB Cream in the shade Medium. I've been using this stuff on and off all year because I had a number of them that were sent to me last year. And you know what? After trying a lot of BB creams, this is definitely up there. It's, it's good. It's good on a whole bunch of levels. It's not greasy. It's got pretty good coverage. Pretty long lasting, even water resistant. Um, pretty good color. So yeah, and it's got SPF 15 in it. So yeah, definite win. I don't know if I would repurchase right away. Well, I still have another medium, but once that's gone, I don't know that I'd repurchase right away just because I like to try new things, but I would recommend it, and it's not too expensive. I finished this Trader Joe's Tea, tea Tree Tingle Shampoo. And I think I showed the conditioner in a previous video, but I originally bought the shampoo. It just took me a lot longer to go through. Um, I really like it. Really cheap shampoo. Um, kind of clarifying in a sense, but also very moisturizing. It doesn't strip your hair, it doesn't dry it out. And just left my hair feeling clean and still like light, not weighed down. So that's a winner. I have a lot of winners, I feel like. Is there anything I don't like? Yeah, maybe. Okay, this one I loved. This one's from Alba Botanica, Hawaiian Facial Wash. I've actually already purchased a second one and have it in my shower. It is, this is coconut milk. This. It comes out like a milky, creamy substance, and it smells like coconuts and just whole, like tropicalness, and it leaves your face feeling hydrated but really cleaned at the same time. It's just amazing. It comes with a pump. So yeah, I got that at Vita Cost, but I've seen it in the store too. The Urban Decay D Slick Makeup Setting Spray. This is not the full size, but I wanted to try it out first, and I really like it. I'm sad, but I like it because it's expensive, but I don't want to go buy the big one. I think I'll wait till next summer, because this summer is, I don't know, well, it's halfway over. Who knows? Maybe if I can find another small one again, I'll buy the small one. It's just nice when you know that you're going to be out in the heat, and you're going to be wearing your makeup for a long period of time, and you want it to stay on your face and not melt off. It really does help, so yes, I liked it. This Maybelline Stay Matte um, Powder. Definitely a staple. I like it. It doesn't leave your face cakey. It just kind of mattifies everything down and yeah, I wish it came in darker colors. It's the only thing that I don't really like. Their darkest color is pretty light. So, All right, this Glam Glow Youth Mud Tingle Exfoliate Treatment. This is a sample one of the Glam Glow Mask. It's filthy as you can see. I had two sample ones like this. I don't think I've used up the other one. This is the exfoliating one and it's not my favorite. I want a mask to be a mask and a scrub to be a scrub. I don't like them mixed together. It's just not my thing. So this one's not my favorite, although it is a really good mask. This brand in particular just kind of sucks everything out of your face. So if you like that feeling, then you'll like that. I'm out of the Stroke of Gorgeous by Hard Candy 
felt tip eyeliner. Oh, zoom it in. There it is there. It's in purple. It just dried out. Nothing special about this, but it works. So if I was feeling like I want a purple eyeliner, which is not that often, but if I felt like it, then I had it. Okay, M by Michelle Fawn. This came in an Ipsy bag. Waterproof mascara. This I used a lot this summer um, already in spring. There's the one there. It's kind of scooped. And this got way better over time and it actually became one of my favorite mascaras that I had opened like in my collection for a period of time there. And I don't like wearing my waterproof mascara unless I have to because it's more difficult to get off. But this made my lashes look amazing. Probably like two or three weeks after I opened it is when it hit its prime and this is good stuff. Definitely waterproof too. Uh, too expensive in my opinion to go out and buy myself, but I really liked having it. This I need a new one of actually. This is the Maybelline Age Rewind Eraser Dark Circles Treatment. And I've gone through like three of these, maybe four of these. Just a really good all around concealer. Um, creases a tiny bit on me, but less than every other drugstore concealer, concealer that I've tried. So, and I like the little sponge tip applicator. I would recommend that. This is the Dr. Brandt Microdermabrasion Skin Exfoliant. Skin Exfoliant. This came in an Ipsy bag. And um, it's like the beads in it, well, it's, it's microdermabrasion. The beads are so fine, you could barely feel them until you were really rubbing it in on your face. I really liked it. Um, it was a weird consistency, but it definitely really cleared out my pores. I don't know how much Dr. Brandt is. I might look into it, but it was a winner in my book. Whoa. Okay. And the last one, this wee tiny sample guy. I actually have two more of this, but in bigger sample ones that I bought because it's my favorite. This is the Pore Professional from Benefit. It's a primer. There it is there. This is the smallest sample you ever see of this, but I have bigger ones as well. And I'm gonna go out and purchase the full size once I've done those because I love this primer. I actually ration this primer for days when I know I need to wear my makeup all day or I need my makeup to look particularly nice. It's a special event, I'll ration this because it fills in all the pores, it makes your makeup flat on so smooth, it holds your makeup in place, it doesn't make you greasy, like it keeps the shine away. It's just love it. I will be spending the money on the full size. So yeah, that's it. There's all my empties. Um, thank you guys for sticking with me. I'm sorry for the gap in videos. If you watch my mommy family channel videos as well, I will be starting to upload videos on that channel shortly as well and hopefully be consistently uploading. So yeah, I think that's about it. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!